Hi guys, it's Mary from Glimpse and Beyond. How are you today? I hope your day has been fantastic. Today, um, we had another question that someone wrote in. I'm so glad you guys, guys gave me questions. It's fantastic. Someone wants to know the role of earth angels. They call them old souls because they're going, I assume, by Ishmael's description of what an earth angel is. You guys can look in my community tab if you need to know that. Um, in incarcerated angels, the similarities and the differences. All right, I call old souls old souls. Old souls to me are earth souls that have been here multiple, 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 multiple lifetimes. They're still giddy, you guys. Multiple. Okay, go around, they keep learning, they keep learning. We're now at the point where if you're an old soul, yeah, we can work with star seeds. It's like, it's like we fit together, kind of like these carrots, all right? Earth souls, earth angels, excuse me, are how to describe it. I call on earth angels very similar to what I told you guys about my dad's experience when he was in the hospital with open heart surgery. Someone just shows up out of the blue. You can't find out who the person is and they help you. It's weird, right? Or you get pulled out of the way and you can't say what pulled you out of the way and it prevented, say, an accident from happening. Those are earth angels to me. All right, earth angels can be star seeds. They certainly can be, because I also believe star seeds exist as earth angels. You know, why not get more confusing, right? Star seeds and humans a long time ago made a pact to help each other. I always get that. They confirm it. Yeah, all right, so we're helping each other. We are in a spiritual battle, let us say. You will see a lot more earth angels coming. You just will. You're going to run into them in the most randomness of places. Maybe even while you're sleeping. Just saying. Keep an open mind. Incarnated angels are basically souls that have left the earth plane rather recently. Some of them are up there longer because they never decided to reincarnate in the human form. Okay, a lot of it's your family. Okay, it can be from way far back. It could be like from last week. It's weird. For whatever reason, they just decide not to reincarnate at this time. I feel they confirm it was all one big, we volunteered to come here to be there right here. For this time in particular, we volunteered to jump down here knowing nothing. Why? I don't know. I wish I knew. I have no idea why. But we did. We did. In the incarnated angels that didn't choose to come back and be reincarnated, they, they did a couple times, but then their last time that they left the earth plane, they were like, no. I'm going to wait for this all to be done. They're helping from up there. They're part of the people that I talk to. They're part of my team. I'm super excited. They're still giddy, you guys. They're giddy. You can call on them anytime you need them. They listen. They will help you. You can pray. Always pray. Always. Always pray. Light will overcome. Then we got the Archangels. The Archangels are a whole different breed of angels because they've been around forever and ever and ever and that's all they've ever been. And that's the only place they reside. Yeah, they're way up there in the dimensions, you guys. It's like over 15 in your dimension. Can you imagine? They're total light beings. All right? Someone told me once that there's seven then I heard 9, then I heard 12, 
They keep telling me 13. I don't know all of them yet. I'm getting there. The archangels only come in. They're like the big bad boys. When they're out, of, when they're out, they're out for a long period of time. Super long. When I say I need adults in the room, I'm not talking them. No, no, no. That's like if I need, for lack of a better word, the president. All right? You don't call them. No, no. They come to you when they need you. All right? You can pray to them. They hear your prayers. They kind of push it up the chain. All right? There's descriptions of them all over on the internet. You guys can look at it. St. Michael's the biggest one. Archangel Michael. He's the protector of all. He really is. He protects everything and everyone, and he always will. All right? Angels help us every day, whether we realize it or not. They really, really help us. They will guide you. They will get you where you're going. They can help you out of pinches. They're just there to talk to. It's freaking fun. The veil's so thin right now, everyone can do it. I got the fun angel cards. I bought new cards today that we're going to use next week that have to do with angels. But it's just, angels pick you, by the way. You can't really pick your angel. I think that's exciting. They pick you. As they say to me, how are you saying it? They knew you before. They knew you during. And they're going to know you after. That's your soul family. That's like your angelic family. They will help you with everything, you guys. They really do. super exciting when they talk. It's amazing. It really is amazing. They do listen. They really do. Okay. I made another video earlier about the solar flares. Yeah, there's going to be more than one event. They keep saying that. They're very firm on that. So we'll delve into that at another time as well. All right, you guys, that's it for the angels. A lot of it's in the community tab. I do the cards. I'll pull for you. You guys know what my lives are. All right. Hit the like, subscribe, and share button. Thanks, you guys.